Hello, I'm Mike Gillis with McKenzie Taxidermy Supply and today we wanted to take just a couple of minutes to introduce you to our revolutionary new ARP three-dimensional line of fish reproductions. Uh, we have taken uh, reproduction fish taxidermy, the molding and production process, and advanced it light years over what it was just a few years ago. Uh, when, uh, when you order one of the ARP 3D fish from McKenzie's, uh, this is what you're going to get. When you open the box uh, and take it out, uh, you get a three-dimensional, and Joe, if you'll zoom in, I want the people to be able to see just how detailed uh, this is. But you're going to get a three-dimensional fish that has pre-molded uh, slots or receptacles for the fins. You're going to have uh, all of the interior mouth detail. Uh, you're going to have, and this is very important, no seam and absolutely no flashing. Uh, most of the fish on the market today, when you take it out of the box, this is what you get. Uh, there's uh, a lot of mouth work to do. All that has to be ground out. Eye sockets, gill openings, uh, seams uh, of various thicknesses, stiff fins that are not transparent. Uh, there's more prep time in the old style fish blanks than there is uh, in the complete prepping and painting process in this new ARP line. Uh, another very important point, uh, quite often uh, when you order a reproduction, you have to wait weeks sometimes. In fact, in some instances, months, just to get the reproduction in. Uh, with the ARP line at McKinsey Supplies, we have these things in stock in five warehouses around the country. When you place an order, they're going to ship within 24 hours. So. Uh, from the time you order it until the time that you're ready to deliver a, faint, a painted and finished product to your customers is uh, less than a week, depending on uh, your shipping time. Now, when you take this thing out of the box, all you have to do to get it ready to paint, and uh, we actually have one here that we've done a little uh, pre-painting or antiquing on the upper portion. Uh, it's simply uh, a light fog of, uh, of black and then uh, take uh, some Scotch Guard or steel wool and uh, lightly uh, polish it off under, under some running water. And that will bring your reproduction uh, to the same state as a conventional dried fish. Uh, makes it much easier to get that lifelike look. But uh, I like to use a fast set epoxy when I'm uh, assembling the fins. Uh, this is some 90 second epoxy that we offer at McKenzie's. Uh, you mix it up, you spread a little bit into the uh, receptacle, and you simply plug your fin right in. Uh, it's almost as fine as putting puzzle pieces together. In fact, in most instances, uh, when you put this in, you simply take uh, your finger or a small paintbrush, uh, dip it in a little bit of lacquer thinner, and smooth out any of the uh, epoxy that uh, creeps out the edge, and your fin is perfectly blended into the rest of the fish. At the very most, when you uh, get through gluing all of your fins in, if there's a little hairline crack somewhere that needs to be filled, you simply take a very tiny sliver of white epoxy sculpt, lay it right on that crack, and give it one little wipe. And it's that quick and that simple. No seams to grind, uh, no dust, uh, no need for your Dremel tool, you can put that on eBay. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you're talking, depending on how fast you work, uh, from the box to the paint table, 20, 30 minutes, easy. And, uh, and you're ready to finish your fish. Now, uh, there are a number of very important reasons to get in to reproduction fish taxidermy. Uh, in this day and time, catch and release is, is becoming 
the mindset of most anglers. So uh, they need uh, their trophy and uh, they want to turn loose the fish. You have to be able to do reproduction fish if you're going to do fish today. And you can now give them a quality uh, mount or a quality reproduction. In fact, it's of a higher quality than they're going to get with a conventional fish skin. And I've had a number of taxidermists to tell me that they've almost stopped doing skin mounts because they can't do one that looks as realistic as these 3D blanks. The other thing that you want to remember is that a reproduction fish uh, is of no interest at all to your local wildlife. Uh, this is a marketable commodity. You can paint these things, put them in your showroom, put a price tag on them. Uh, you can actually have fish ready to go when a customer comes in. Uh, you can also market these things to interior designers, uh, restaurants. Uh, there are markets out there uh, of people and sources that want fish reproductions, and they're not even fishermen. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to really increase your cash flow. So, take a look at them in the McKinsey catalog. We are molding these things every week. Uh, we're constantly collecting new specimens. We're going to have all of the species and uh, give us a call. Uh, we're there with technical help uh, five days a week, not only in fish reproductions, but any other aspect of taxidermy. Thank you.